Well, Dan, first of all, welcome to Macclesfield FC. Um, what excites you most about the signing for the Silver? Obviously, it's a, it's a massive club. Um, they shouldn't be where they are. Um, and I've come in to really like try and kickstart my career again. Um, I'm excited. I can't wait to go. Obviously, Saturday's game away. I was looking forward to a home game, but I can't wait to get going at home as well in front of all the fans. Like, Obviously, going from... Uh, I was at uh, Matlock last game, uh, 2,000 fans, which was brilliant, but then playing in front of die-hard supporters that I know they've got at Macclesfield and knowing a little bit about the club and obviously everything going on around the club, it, it's a really good place to be and somewhere where I'm really enjoying to get started. From your point of view, how did the move come about? Well, I didn't know a lot about it. Um, I was meant to come up in the week and I got stuck in some traffic and then that didn't happen. And then um, I got shown a few videos and, and things and live videoed and that and I was like blown away from by it. I mean, you look, you look as a football person, you know bits and bobs about clubs and you know what's right and wrong and there was something that definitely ticked a lot of boxes here. So in terms of the Silverman fans who maybe don't know too much about you, I know you've already said that you were at Mac. Um, give us a quick rundown of your career today. So I started off as a as a boy at, at Derby um, and then got released from there and went and signed for Sheffield Wednesday and so ended up spending four years there in a really good period of time for me. Made some really good uh, relationships while I was there. Um, then I left there and I ended up going out to Norway, uh, which was interesting, good learning curve for me. Uh, also, uh, more recently, played for Nottingham Forest as well, um, but I got injured, which kind of cut short my time there a little bit. And then obviously, uh, in most recent, I've been playing at Matlock and uh, Stamford, where I've, I enjoyed, really enjoyed Stamford. I uh, can't speak highly of them enough. Uh, they were brilliant with me. Uh, Matt Lockie just sadly didn't work out, wasn't right for me. So clearly we're well positioned at the minute. We're top of the table. Um, but what do you think you can bring to our squad? I'm hoping I can be solid. I can bring a bit of organisation. I think if you speak to anybody about me as a person, I'm a goalkeeper, you should be able to keep shots out. If any goalkeeper tells you they can't, there's a bit of an issue. But um, I'll keep the back line and everybody else in, in check. And uh, if we're not, I'll be the first one that you see uh, ranting and raving in his, in his little box. So, but uh, yeah, definitely organisation, hopefully keeping a few more clean sheets and uh, pushing for that title, where it should, where it should be. So I say, what can you bring to the squad? Because obviously it is a squad game. And there's competition for places all across the pitch. But to what extent are you prepared to fight for your place here? I'm prepared to give everything I've got. That's all I can all I can give. Um, I've always been a hard worker from when I started as a boy um, all the way up until now. Uh, when I was at Sheffield Wednesday, I think I remember being told that I wasn't good enough a few times uh, as a scholar. I ended up getting a two-year pro there, so that kind of gives you the depth of how hard I'm willing to work. And the people who know me, who are closest to me and coaches will testify that you probably won't get anyone who's as hardworking as me. So, in terms of where we are on the table, the fact that we are Macclesfield FC, and of course yourself as a goalkeeper, where mistakes invariably are punished with goals, aren't they? How much pressure is there on, on you, and, and how we use that almost like as a source of inspiration? I think in, in terms of the position of a goalkeeper, you always know that if you make a mistake, nine times out of ten, it's going to lead to a goal. Um, and being at a club like Macclesfield, it obviously heightens a little bit because obviously the fan base, the expectation, but I'm not going to let myself get too wound up in that. I'm just going to keep myself to my normal standards of, I don't go ever go out there to make any mistakes and that's not going to change whether it's in front of two fans on a Sunday or a Saturday or in front of like 4,000 here. So yeah, that's the kind of standards I'm setting that my bar is very high it can only get higher, but I've not come here to let in soft goals, whether that's from me or anybody else. So that's what I've come in here to prevent. Wish you the best of luck, mate. Thank you.